Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you may be on the radio, guys. It's out in pain still. <laughs> so, yeah, just thought I'd give you an update on what I've done with the antenna and an update on my health at the moment. Um, yeah, managing to sit in the chair at the moment that I'm in. Um, tablets I'm on are, are really helping. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you a few things that I've got recently and um, what I've done with the antenna. So uh, we'll be back in a bit. Hello CQ, hello CQ. This is 26 Division 26 Tango Charlie 101 looking for DX and we're standing by. Please QRZ. Hello Charlie, Uh, so, yeah guys, uh, welcome to the channel again, thanks for all the subscribers, 708 now, absolutely unbelievable, that's uh, really cheering me up because I tell you what guys, the pain I've been in is, is absolutely been unbelievable and um, finding it quite hard to believe how many people also suffer with uh, this sciatica, it's, uh, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. It's um, debilitating. Uh, I have to lie on the floor most of the times. Uh, at the moment I'm on tablets, I'm on Declofenic, I think it is, uh, which is helping getting the dog a little walk, not uh, too much of a walk and uh, it seems to help. Uh, a couple of exercises, doctors told me not to do too much. Hopefully I'll get better and once I am better I'll be bouncing back and all over the country up and down <laughs> in the car on the radio. Who knows, who knows, but um, thinking of doing a uh, Alpha Romeo, because I don't know if you guys know, me and Rich made a little group. It's just a little group of like-minded DXers and we're in the Alpha Romeo DX group. Only about 15 of us, but with, I'm thinking of doing a, a little net over the Christmas period. Um, talking of the Christmas period, yes, I've got a live stream, that, that a 700 live stream that I want to do. Um, I don't want to be ill, guys. I don't want to be in this pain at all. It's, it's, uh, I've, I've been signed off work for three weeks and I can't do much. Um, really is uncomfortable sitting in this chair right now at the moment but um and i'm a little bit of space because of the tablets i'm on i don't know if you can tell um but we stay optimistic and i don't like to whinge about it too much but anybody that's got this anybody that suffers with this i really feel for you guys i really really do but anyway what we're going to do the imax is back up um i've not touched the the dipole, uh, it's in pieces. My grease never turned up. I don't know why. They said they tried to deliver, but they never put anything through the door, so I, I never got that grease. But I think we are going to try it again. I just don't know when. Just just when I'm better and everything. Um, the car needs to go in for a repair now, but that's that's another bloody story, to be honest with you. Um, I'll tell you about that another time. But while I'm off, I can get that in for repair. And um, yeah, it just had a bit of a prank. Um, but we'll get that in for repair and hopefully we'll be back on the road as soon as we can. Uh, pain's easing off, like I say. It's just getting comfortable in, in certain places. But anyway, what we'll do, we'll go out on the balcony and uh, we'll, we'll show you what we've, uh, we've done. Uh, you might find this quite interesting. So uh, here we are on the balcony as per normal. Um, and what a beautiful uh, November we're having. Can't, can't believe the, the weather. I look at it today. It's Sunday today, by the way, uh, the 13th. Ooh, maybe not a good idea to be doing a video on the 13th. But um, anyway, this is, uh, this is what we've done. You can probably see the antenna behind me, but I'll show you on the other camera what we've done. So yeah, guys, this is what we've done. Uh, I can't get this mesh all back up, it's, it's too much stretching to do at the moment to get that back up with my back, so I'm not going to try it. It is a bit of a mess on here, but as you can see, what we've got is this pole here, which is damn solid, because this balcony is, is solid. Well, it's got to be, hasn't it, for safety reasons. So we've used three clamps, the sun's in the way there. We've used three clamps to clamp this to this metal 
bit of balcony here and uh, and what we've done we've swung the IMAX 2000 away from the balcony because what was happening was it was hitting this balcony above and clattering down and making a god awful noise now I don't think it's very straight but uh, this IMAX has been through the wars but uh, there we go look on two poles and it's it's solid it is solid I, I make sure things are solid I'm not going to just throw things together and make sure they're not solid but there you go what we'll do we'll go and have a look outside we'll go and have a look from like because all this in the middle is glass now I don't know how um, signals bounce off glass or if they can go through glass I'm guessing it's better than being away from the concrete building to be in, in all honesty um, so yeah I, I seem to be getting a better uh, I've gained three S points just by moving this what six foot I've gained three S points on uh, Anthony in the Papa 275 is hearing me a lot better I'm hearing him a lot better it's, it's, it's strange I tell you what guys I don't know what this block of flats does to my signals and everything, but it's 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 totally biz bizarre. Now, I did want to put, uh, I'll just get a little stick to show you. I did want to put it out this way. So I wanted it sort of out over the car park. Um, but, I don't, you know, I don't know if that would have been dangerous. And again, I've got to get the space from sort of here to here to push it out. Now with this, I can undo these bolts and, and, and I can push it out a little bit further. Now at the bottom, I didn't have another pole. Now I could probably get another longer pole. This was quite easy to do, to be honest, but I found some old um, scaffolding equipment there, look. So I've just had to bodge this together. But again, look, that's solid. That is, that's not moving at all. That that's really is quite solid. So two poles. And this is what I wanted to do for a while. And it's uh, all good. But what we'll do, we'll go into where this sort of bin shoot room is. And we'll have a look from there. Then we'll go up to the very top floor and have a look from down there. And uh, yeah, thoughts on, on it, guys. Should I put it out the other way so it's out a bit further? But my noise levels are five. We'll go and have a look at my noise levels in a bit. But we'll go and have a look at the... At how it looks from from other angles. I'm sorry if I sound a bit of space, guys, because I am. I'm on tablets and oh wee. <laughs> so there we go. This this is how it looks from like that's my balcony there. So I'm just next door to it. So there, these two poles. The only thing I find about the IMAX is they're very, very um, wobble about a bit. It's a bit bent in the middle there again I think but I can bring it in I can bring it in it, it's quite easy to do and do them bolts and sort of slide it in it slid out quite nicely so I can bring it in and work on it if I need to but what we'll do we'll go to the top floor and have a look from the top floor now yes we all know I wish I could get it up onto the top floor we'll take the lift because I'm not walking upstairs with my with, with my bad back but uh, we'll see how it is. I've not been up there yet to have a look. But um, yeah, I mean, this is my height from here. Being in the city centre ain't no fun. They're actually, all these tents down here, they're, they're filming a BBC programme, by the way. Ah. And I just would like to say hello to all my friends around the world as well. Thank you for subscribing. I've had a few American guys subscribe. Thank you very much. Oh, and that's me. Yeah. Why do these flats have windows in them? I don't know. Doors closing. Oh, let's go to floor eight. Oh, yeah. We've got a funny feeling that the lift, this lift is something to when I'm speaking to the guys over in the neat and because I get a whooshing sound sometimes. I, I get like this whooshing sound. Don't know what that is. But uh, let's just go and have a look at floor eight and see how far that antenna goes up. So there we go, and it, it's quite a different. Oh, someone's left rubbish there. So, uh, if you remember, 
that's where I used to have the antenna and there's the top of it yeah it's a bit bent in the middle again I'm going to have to bring that in and make sure that that's okay but there we go that's the tip of the antenna there you can see that so yeah we've got some good height on the 8th floor I'm sure I've shown you this before but that's looking sort of uh, north of Coventry that's looking to sort of Long Mind Way mid, sort of Mid Wales Long Mind Way um, but again that, that is a hill that goes that way but I don't do too badly anyway let's go downstairs and have a look what it looks like from downstairs so back into the lift and I'll see you when we get downstairs so and downstairs here we are there we go I don't know if you can see that very well we'll zoom in a bit it, look, it will look better from the other side to be honest but yeah we continue to experiment and I did do this before I did my backing um, not long after the dipole went wrong but yeah there is a bit of a bend in the antenna yeah, it's, it's the problem with um, these sort of antennas. It's got a bit of a bend in it, hasn't it? But I've just spoke to Canada. So yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think, guys. It looks, um, looks okay. I've been, not been told off yet that I can't have it like that, but uh, a bit concerned about that bend in it, to be honest. There is a bit of a bend in it. Um, it does take a bit of the wind so I'm gonna have to check that out I'm gonna have to bring that in and check it out again when I'm better but it, it's it's working um, like I say noise is down to five or under the five um, noise changes it doesn't matter where I put it the noise changes a bit but there we go yeah I'm, I'm not happy with that bending it IMAX 2000 seem to uh, snap in that middle bit from what I've gathered so I don't know I don't know but anyway we'll go back upstairs have a look at the soir have a look at the um, what's coming in and I'll see you in a bit when we get back upstairs guys there you go <laughs> I'm a bit of a tinkerer so there you go guys that's what I've done with the antenna um, we will get back and try and do something with the dipole. Maybe if I push the IMAX 2000 out a bit further, I can maybe do a comparison between the two. I'd need another switcher, but I have been buying a few more things as it goes. Uh, I also want to show you what I've done for the linear. It's amazing what you can do with bits knocking about. I just need to find it. Um, I had a few bits knocking around. Um, just old pieces of kit. I'm not a hoarder, but I do 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 have stuff about. So I built a little fan for the linear. Um, there we go. Just an old computer fan. It's 12, 12 watts, and found a little switch, so I can switch the fan on when I need it. Um, not keep it going all the time. The linear does get warm. Um, I thought it worked really well. Yeah, we've 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 bought a new um, PSU, so now we've got two PSUs. So it's a 50 amp PSU to basically do the linear. Yeah, here's the fan with a little switch. Like I say, it's 12 volts. Uh, I made some little standoffs for it as well. There we go. And you can. If I put that next to the mic, you can hear that, really works well. Um, again, just had bits knocking around, old computer fan, and yeah, stuck that on top of the linear now. I'll just show you how I stuck it on top of the linear. So there we go, guys. I just cut some little bits of aluminium tubing that I had. I was given a load of aluminium tubing. I was going to... Um, make a cellular element beam for the PMR which I still might get round to maybe take out mobile but um, I've put a little wall, wall plug in there they sit in the vents 
of the linear and then we just screw the fan into them like that and then they sit in the vents of the linear it's amazing what you can do if you've got stuff knocking about and i do like to tinker as you probably know <laughs> so yeah that works great and yeah yeah this is the thing i like tinkering and uh yeah it, it keeps it quite cool it certainly kept it cool when i was out on the 41 years of cb radio anyway but uh, let's just have a look at my soir on the radio so yeah it does go up a bit i'm afraid hope you can see that okay let's zoom in but so the imax is has got the best soir that i've had before it was in the position it it, it, it was in but let's just go to meter and fm so fm don't know if you can see that one to two now as i go down the frequency down to 26 it starts going quite high as you can see but 27 290 27 470 27 660 and then 27 990 so yeah around the mid the mids it's okay but it does start going quite high up it's the only problem with the imax but one to one on 27 660 so really really pleased with that let me just zoom out and show you the channel i'm on 2600 let, let's go to fm So channel 40 FM, we have a soir of about 1.2. Go down to channel 1 and 1 to 1. So yeah, there's definitely a difference. I think the IMAX has, 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 has definitely got more, more air around it. Yeah, so as you can see guys, my noise is below the 5 below the five at the moment um flickering around the four so it's a little bit better um i'll take anything below a five anything above a five can be annoying and i know people get worse than me so uh, we're just gonna give a shout out to stateside and see if we get anything hello stateside hello stateside this is a 26 division 26 tango charlie 101 anybody got a copy on central uk We've five weeks now stateside has been coming in, which is absolutely amazing. I never thought we'd get it this good. 254 USA, do you copy? Tango Charlie 101, Central UK, call. Cool. Tango Charlie 101, Yeah, 538, 538, we got you there, my friend. Lots of stations coming in. You're five and nine, but a lot of other strong stations. But every now and then, you, you beat them all. Roger, my friend, Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, well, we're in the central UK, the city of Coventry. The city of Coventry, my friend. You're five eight, five nine, sometimes five, five thirty. It's uh, <laughs> absolutely brilliant stuff, my friend. A lot of other stations, though, uh, all coming in at the same strength. <laughs> Tell you what, you've done it real, real good over there in Nottingham. Needle Bender, Triple Seven, Tampa Bay Golf. Uh, but I like this mob down there. Damn. Well, Roger, two six, Charlie. Make him clear. Tango. Over in Nottingham, Needle Bender, Triple Seven, Tampa Bay Golf. Needle Bender, right now, you can see on the other camera, he's coming in on a plus. Nine plus. 
Well, I hope you're enjoying the DX cars because it's it has been amazing myself. I haven't been able to get on that much, but we're getting better slowly anyway. Anyway, there you go, guys. It can be hard work, but uh, you keep trying, you'll get through. Anyway, we'll, we'll catch you in a bit. Got a lot of stuff coming in, guys. It's been absolutely amazing, the, the radio. Uh, I've just not had a chance to get on it, but uh, hopefully we'll get better soon. Um, I'm making a bit. Got a little bit of pain, about three of pain at the moment. A little bit uncomfortable sitting where I'm sitting, but we all get better, and then I'll be bouncing around the countryside, like I said earlier. But, uh, guys... Thanks for subbing, uh, absolutely amazing. I don't know when I'm going to do a live stream. I want to be 100% because sitting in this chair can start getting painful when I have to lie on the floor. So there will be a live stream coming. I will try and get videos up when I can. Uh, I miss making the videos. I love doing these videos and I miss making the videos. I really, really do. Um, just love the hobby, just love everything about it and love putting these videos together and I love the feedback that you guys give but uh, keep watching guys, bear with me I will be back, not giving this up, no chance, no chance of that <laughs> I just, I need to get rid of this pain because I feel for anyone who's had this pain before guys, it's, it, it's a killer it's a killer and I hope, you know no one else has to go through this because there was one day I was just rolling around on the floor but um we're human, these things happen, and um, yeah, we. this is the test in life we get given sometimes. So uh, guys, maybe just see if we can get a contact on the radio, maybe, and um, I'll let you get on with your day. I just wanted to give you an update, show you the antenna, let you know about the live stream. Thank all my American friends, my friends in Europe, my friends in the UK for keeping subscribing, keeping liking, and, and just thank you for all your support. Uh, I, I couldn't do this without you guys, so just... Thanks very much for everything and keep the comments coming, keep the likes coming, keep the subscriptions coming. I, I enjoy the com little community I've got with you guys and uh, sometimes I, I hear some of you on the radio and stuff so it, it is great but I think I'm going to be home base for a while. <sighs> yeah, gutted but once we're back we'll be back <laughs> i can tell you that for nothing so trying to stay happy trying to keep optimistic but guys thanks for watching you take care of yourselves don't go putting your backs out and getting antennas up and stuff like that but i did do this gardening i think uh but guys take care please take care of yourselves um none of us are getting any younger are we but uh take care i'm not going to keep gassing on i'm not going to keep whinging i do that enough for rich on channel 27500 look out for a, a live stream look out for a net over the christmas period and we'll catch you very soon take care all ciao ciao